What we have here are six different types of quadrilaterals. Now, a quadrilateral is a shape that has four sides. And when you start getting shapes that have four sides, they can be displayed in a variety of ways, which is why each of these quadrilaterals above actually has a different name. Let's start at the top left and go around and identify these quadrilaterals. At the top left, I can see that I have four sides, and each of these sides seems to be the same length. Now, when you have a shape that has four sides, they're all equal length, but there are no right angles, that's what we call a rhombus. A rhombus. Moving along, I could see that we have a shape that has opposite sides of equal length. The top and bottom are equal length, and the right and left are equal length, and it has four right angles. That shape is what we call a rectangle. Opposite sides are equal length, four right angles is a rectangle. Over here, it looks like all the sides are equal length, and there are four right angles. A shape where every side is the same, and there are four right angles, is called a square. At the bottom left, I could see that what we have is n opposite sides are the same length, so the left and right are the same, the top and bottom are the same, but they aren't all four equal length. But what is true about this is these opposite lines are what we call parallel, meaning that the top and the bottom, if they were to continue on forever, would never run into each other. And the same is true for the right and the left. You could see that if we continued this on, the lines would never run into each other, they'd keep going in the same exact direction. That shape is called a parallelogram. I know it's a mouthful, but what's interesting is you'll see the word parallel at the beginning. It's easy to remember that a parallelogram has opposite sides are parallel and opposite sides are equal. The next shape has only one set of parallel sides. That means that only the top and bottom here will never cross if they were to go on forever. As we could see, the left and the right, if those kept going, they would actually meet eventually. This shape is called a trapezoid. One set of parallel sides is a trapezoid. And the last shape that we have is what we call a kite. Sometimes people call it a diamond. Um, you could reference it as a kite. I like to always just see if it's a kite by whether I go draw a line from the top to the bottom and then a line from left to right. Does it form four right angles in the middle? If you can say yes, then it's a kite. Now what's interesting about quadrilaterals is they can be more than one quadrilateral. So for example, this rhombus up here, it's also a parallelogram. Because as you could see, it has opposite sides are equal and the opposite sides are parallel. This uh, square over here is also a rectangle because it has opposite sides are equal and four right angles. So it's important to pay attention to the shape to see if it's actually possible that it's more than one shape.